Hello everyone, I'm Council Master and Pastor Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here in the beginning of a new campaign where we shall play as a fairly religious folk. Now we shall play as the good old Heaven's Gate under Saint Michael. Uh, currently they have divided leadership, theocratic elite, and then a blessing of steam, and just like the beginning of every campaign. No one gets anything special. We're going to go with historical AI focuses off and let us begin. So, ah, Heaven's Gate. Time for a good old religious campaign. So, we have Gabriel's Sons. Crusader Cudgel, made from the reject pig iron that the great furnaces around the steam throw out like unwanted children. The crusader cudgels made by the priesthood of Baptist's rest are proof that God has used them or even the most worthless of individuals. Some, if some lowly impure metal can become a weapon of his mercy, then anything can. I love crusader cudgels. Now, let us go ahead and do a legacy of scripture first. The word of God has always been the supreme law of the land, even in times where Heaven's Gate has been led by more moderate leaders. These divine writings have always inspired our people generation after generation. Beautiful. Beautiful words of wisdom. Pipe guns? Mm, before I make a decision on this, let's go to research. So we have pipe guns, crusader cultures. Priesthood sidearm. The temper blade. A steam saw. Ooh. The Air 3 Steam Rifle, Archangel's Fury, and then Mercy. I'm thinking we're probably going to go with just plain old ballistics this time. So we'll probably go with the Ste Priesthood Sidearm at the current moment. So, for research, we shall begin, of course, anew. Asymmetrical Warfare, Conventional Warfare, Not Refined Warfare, Not Automated Warfare. So, Conventional Warfare. But we never know. With our manpower, we don't have many people here. Only 44 of those so thousand that is not very many and if i were to do asymmetrical warfare i would not choose ancient tactics just because ancient tactics are old to the point where it reminds us of a potential roman time and that wasn't very good at some parts for christians at some point so i think i believe we shall choose screw it i'm doing Conventional warfare. We don't need mechanized armor, super, weapon, super weapons, or machines to fight for us. Men with guns in their hands and God in their hearts, and even more discipline in their hearts than God, this will bring us victory. That sounds glorious. Let's do this. Next up, we shall do industry. And in industry planning, and then, of course, construction basics once we do. Improvised tools. Actually, construction basics sounds good first. Let's go ahead and start producing some things for God. Ah, uh, right there. Right there. Right there. Beautiful. Next up, some divisions. We have non-believers. We must convert non-believers that are within our sphere of influence. We don't want to forcibly convert everybody, but we're not going to be, as some would say, crusaders in this campaign. We shall grab maybe a little bit of support equipment. Maybe a few sticks of Christ that go kaboom. And yeah, double up on that. That looks very nice. That looks really nice now. Cool. So, let us go ahead... Lucifer, Lucifer's own. Oh, how dare you. And we shall, of course, start with Mother Magdalene. 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 Mama with a machine gun. Look at her attack. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, she can follow the orders under St. Michael. Who has an offensive doctrine, which we shall get soon enough. And you know what? We don't need to train. We already have a good enough amount of soldiers anyways. Uh, we have enough XP. Right now we get about 0.69. Nice, Christian. Nice number. Political power. And we can disable backstory decisions. So the legacy of scripture, the heavens get, has always heeded the word of God, being directed by previous or various prophets and leaders throughout its long history. Preachers have come and gone, speaking the good word to desperate people. Many verses have always held great weight with us, but none more so than the following. Ephesians 6.11 or Isaiah 1.19. Now, what does Isaiah 119 mean? So, from the good book, the Bible. If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the best 
from the land. And I believe we shall, as long as we heed the words of Christ. So let's do Pilgrims Cometh. Pilgrims have traveled to our lands, whether intentionally or unintentionally, for the better part of several decades. For these people, churches and shrines have been built. Yet one has always been more popular than the other. Hmm. We must make have them make a decision. Hmm. Heaven's Gate. Beautiful. This is not Kuwait. Hmm. And Pilgrims Cometh. Those who make the journey to Heaven's Gate often travel great distances, knowing in their hearts of hearts that somewhere past the horizon is the last true bastion of godliness in this forlorn and forgotten wasteland. Yet, when they arrive, there is always a question. Has their pilgrimage ended, or are they now duty-bound to seek out and lead the faithful here? What does the Bible say of such things? We have Genesis 13.15 or Psalm 23.4. We can always get more stability. What does Genesis 13.15 say? So, from the good book of Genesis and the Bible, All the land that you see, I will give to you and your offspring forever. The word of God. Amen. Pagan conversion. Tribals have come to join our flock time and time and again. Sometimes individuals. Sometimes entire tribes. Their arrival can never be predicted and often strain our resources. Ah. In time they shall come. They shall greatly come. Ooh. This state has already been cleansed by steam. I love it. And we have... Is that deer? Oh, it's bison! Oh, the Lord giveth all the time. So those who do not hear the word of God may hear of the gates and may still travel here. The concerns that we face in the ancient question of how to deal with those pagan visitors are eternal. There are those who feel we should protect and house these lost souls and those who believe that we should reject them. Corinthians 12.2 or Luke 12.2. 1230. We could get more daily political power, but what does the good book of Corinthians 1, 12, 2 say? You know that when you were pagans, somehow or other, you were influenced and led astray to mute idols, and in the end they shall find the word of God. Amen. Cool. Now I can put my Bible away, probably. Next up. Innocence lost. The tragedy at Innocence lost can never be understated. The rage of the pagan fell upon the peaceful pilgrim, and it is said that the blood split or blood spilled their stains of ground red to this day. A word of warning to all the faithful. And as you can tell, we are very generally peaceful folk, except for what happened at Innocence, for we do not care for war. We prefer a stable country under our leader currently, isolationist Saint. Michael, uh, baptized in the waters at the remote of the mighty steam engines of Heaven's Gate, St. Michael would go on from a humble settler to a man who spoke to God. It was he who instructed Michael in the ways of war, because as his name foretold, Michael was to be the leader of an army against the devil himself. Unfortunately for the wasteland, Michael considers everyone a sinner, and he's not wrong. In a sense, it's little more than a small settlement on the very edge of what we know, often visited by traveling pagans and tribals coming down from the northern wildlands. These people often arrive to trade and exchange goods, and in turn, we teach them of the Lord. Yet often there are groups more resistant to this than others, those elders and warlike souls who feel that our lessons are an affront to their own misguided beliefs. Tensions run high, and our method of dealing with pagans will play a great part in what happens next. We lose population, we get more encryption, but lose decryption because we have innocence that was lost. Now we can choose what direction we shall go. And you know what? We could do evolution of the guard, which I think is great because this side helps you develop your land doctrine by quite a bit. We could do community service for more uh, building slots. We could get another research slot, which would be great. Developing the gate is okay. Doesn't really help us that much. And honestly, it's kind of a waste of time. All you get is factories, which are nice, but it's okay. The Great Debate, which is going to be important to do as well. And Embassy of Christ, but we can do this. An eye for an eye or learning to forgive. Conversion decisions sound like a great thing, so... Memories of Innocence. Innocence was, true to its namesake, a peaceful town of kind souls, doing what they could to survive in the wasteland. For their faith and kindness, they were butchered by uncertain and fearful pagan masses. 
There are few alive today who not still weep for a lost loved one, taken back by misery and uncertainty. In what time, though, what will this sphere become? And let us begin actually playing. So, we have lost population, but we're still mobilizing because we have Corinthians 12-2. Love it. Love it. Love it. Ah, oh, a thousand men to serve Christ wherever he is needed. Pharaohs. The Great Struggle. Three divisions. Ah, oh, we need world tension to be higher. For us to go to war with them. If we need to go to war with them. We may, we may not. Old countries. I believe they're filled with ghouls. Evil. Decrepit. Anti-godly ghouls. And they're freezing. Hmm. But we have enough energy cells. Do we have anything like planes? A navy? No. Do we need an air force? In time, yes, we shall need an air force. But there's not much that we can currently do as children of the gate. Of course, we've divided leadership, which is unfortunate. Hurts our population and daily political power game. Theocratic elite. The men who speak the word of God are held above all others in our society for reasons clear to all. It does give us more stability, but it does hurt our war support and daily political power, as well as consumer goods. Desert Rangers, whoever they are, are killing the Vipers. So be it. But we do have the blessing of steam. A blessing that has allowed us to survive where so many others have failed. We get more resources, more max factories in the state, more construction speed, which is great, and more free repair. Ah, oh, I love it. Now, we only have two factories currently working on factories. In time, they shall be built up faster. Let's go ahead and get... Um, I always choose this one, because it's better. You get more population. Let's do work as needed, though. God says work as needed, and let us do woodworking. Glorious. Hmm. And I have a cup of fairly warm, fairly warm Christian coffee. Blessed by the holy steam of the Lord himself. Ah. Uh. I can't wait to convert others to our religion and teach them the good word of the Lord, including those who are heretical to ourself, including perhaps the pharaohs, but definitely Murtaugh, Iris, those pesky people of New Canaan, as well as Lone Tree. For in time, we shall have to make a decision to speak with the Protestants and strike the Catholics, or speak with the Catholics and strike the Protestants. In time, in time. Brotherhood with Murtaugh. Brotherhood with Iris. But right now we have memories of innocence and we shall be learning to forgive. Hatred. Hatred is not the way of God, nor it is intrinsic to the heart of mankind. The world has bled enough, suffered enough, because men and women could not let go. We have been given a second chance in what remains of our Lord's greatest creation. So let us not taint this with the same spite that ruined it. No, no, no. The Lord said that is not a good thing to do. Oh, no, no. But we could expel the riffraff. But before we do expel the riffraff, we want to welcome in some of the riffraff to convert them. And maybe we could benefit. So we have a preacher, Shawl, head physician. Oh, monthly population, incredible population factor. Oh, yeah. Honest speaker, Deacon Evans. Archbishop Anderson looks pretty good. Warrior priest, Marduk, Marduk, caravan trader. And then, of course, priest Fisher person of the community, which sounds like the person I shall go for first because it gives us more daily political power and gives us a tiny bit more stability to our lands, which will in thusly give us even a tiny, tiny bit more political power, maybe less consumer goods, maybe more factory output, and of course, dockyard output as well. Priest Fisher? Come on. Welcome aboard. Now we get 0.81 political power day. What a radical change. And in the meantime, we're not really doing much with these guys, so... Lucifer, you must sweat your sin away. Send soldiers up this way. Yakima Nation probably won't hurt us too badly. But these sinners believing in Lucifer, godless people, they're soon to be godly people. Oh, and there goes Iron Alliance. I will let you know, I have several mods on, including the mod compilation too by Shutterfly and a few other people. Um, I do not have the Vault City mod on, which I normally use, but I wanted to see what would happen without that mod, so this looks very fun, very interesting. Oh, and they're going with Reinforce the Old Ways. Oh, population controls. 
Alright, well, they're not going with mutants. Interesting. I do have any other mods on. Not really. And I will let you know that this will not be a wasteland conquest. I am not interested in that in this campaign. But we do have gliders. If you want to soar with Christ, then let us soar. Uh, however, let's see. New Vegas, are you up to anything? Gamora, what decision did, or path did you take? You went with the old authority. How disappointing. Because they could have gone with the Courier 6. Because that mod is currently installed too, but... Oh well. So they're going with old authority. Are they going to go with a new world order? Or perhaps they'll go with an economic miracle? Vault 38. Architect of Destiny. NCR Statehood. Interesting. I do not know. Only God knows what the future may hold for us and the Wasteland. But we hope, because he's already blessed us with steam, that he shall help us out. And wow, that looks kind of thick. Not going to lie. That's a thick she. Oh, learning to forgive. Blessed. And you know what? We could do mercy for the wicked for more population. But we can wait. Let us get some more political power. The Great Debate. The following or the legacy of the Great Debate is ancient. Dating back to the years following the Great War, wherein the people feared violence might break out between the people of differing faiths. Instead, on each Sunday, all who have faith in God are encouraged to do intellectual and theological battle with one another where all can see. And we can do conversion missions now. The people around us are unenlightened in the eyes of the Lord. We must send out our missionaries to convert these sinners where they live and slowly our influence and the influence of the Lord shall spread so do we do lone trees first uh, pharaohs or old country I'm thinking pharaohs because they're the most close neighbor to us in the, in the moment we shall do pharaohs and in time I might do old country as well if we can add old country to us and before they might eventually join a potential evil, metal, godless brotherhood. I hope so. I really hope so. I hope to God. And that's why I went with the priest, because he is a good good minister. Minister, yeah, minister. And I can't even choose anything else here, so. Oh, and there goes the Iron Alliance. All right, Wither Dogs, good job. Do you even... You kind of have a focus tree. Kind of. Not really that developed. The chop chop shimmy. Chop chop shimmy. Yeah, well, it is what it is. But we must continue to work for Christ. And of course, we will need more daily XP, but uh, army XP, that's not too much at the moment. 0 0.003 a day. Oh, Christian coffee is the best coffee. Halfway done with the great debate. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. And we have 100 days, 73 days left here. We shall create a great faction with Children of the Gate, with the Lone Trees, with the Pharaohs, with hopefully the Old Country. All who follow in Christ shall know what the Lord says. Oh, and Kaiser is still trying to kill off good old, twisted, disgusting hairs. Oh, 3% war support. Nice. Because of the world tension. Hmm... Hmm. That would take quite a bit of political power, but our decision, currently, we can go to the Lone Trees. We can go to Old Country, but Iris? Oh, Iris. In time, we can add them as well. But how about Yakima Nation? Can we do anything with the these people? Maybe not. If anything... We might be able to spread the good word if we get enough political power fast enough. Maybe, maybe not, but let us do battle plans next. Ah, uh, I love it when we research three things at one time. Hmm. Organized agriculture is a blessing. A mighty, mighty blessing. Um, motorized flight. The plains of Christ call us to act. Five days for the Great Debate. The Accommodation. This is not a crusade if we go to war with them. This is merely doing the Lord's work. That's right, doing the Lord's work. We have a couple divisions. 
And we have it. This will take time, and that'll be okay. We have all the time we need. Next up, you know what? We are focusing on our land doctrine, but we want to make sure we use it as best as possible with any sort of bonus. For the better part of a hundred years, Heaven's Gate has been protected by the guard and unofficial alignment of disjointed militia and mercenaries who have little to no formal interaction with one another, beyond a unified goal of protecting the gate. Evolving this organization into a true military shall be no simple task, however. And so be it. That is okay. Conversion mission to the pharaohs. Let us... Oh, actually, if we get the lone trees quick enough... Then they will also aid us in the mission to purify the sinners. This is not a crusade. I want to re reinforce that. This is not a crusade. We are not crusading. We want peace. And to have peace in our lands, we must make sure everyone believes the same thing we do. Ah, the Lord's word. Ah, very nice. 8%? Good. 8%. And I shall wait and save up a little bit more political power so that we can continue to convert the pharaohs. Now, oh, the state must be cleansed by steam. Oh, I would love to cleanse every state, every single state to be cleansed by steam, but sometimes the Lord doesn't will it. What is the Apostle of Lone Tree? Oh, oh they went with Northern Missionaries. Interesting. Oh, no. From what our Christian diplomats say, some might call them spies, but Christian diplomats, the Mormons down south might be trying to do the same thing as we are, converting and puppeting individuals to their heathen, heretical Christianity. Hmm... Hmm, what shall be done with them? Hmm, well, it's as good that we're not doing the Lone Trees then. Do the Pharaohs, do Old Country, for I believe we shall do okay in the end. And you know what? We don't want to be seen as too aggressive to our potential Christian ally, so we shall redeploy. Our Army of Christ to Lone Trees. Army of Christ. There we go. Uh, the Army. Uh, Mother Ma Magdalene's. Um, and let us pause it real quick. Um, Mother Magdalene's. Warriors. We'll go for that for now. If you think of a better army suggest army name, please suggest it in the comments below. So evolution of the guard. Good. Good. Next up we shall we do want to get down to clerical education in time. Arming the clergy though, we'll do that next because we get army XP. The greatest among our warriors have always been the clergy and preachers who who got out those who got out into this barren and dangerous world with a small book and a proper big iron, dedicated to bringing God's mercy to those in need and God's wrath upon those who deserve it. Allowing these men to teach and arm the clergy shall be the first step to a proper fighting force. And sure, we could do more air stuff. Ooh, scrap fighters. Ooh. That sounds like fun. In time, in t due time, though. Conversion mission to the pharaohs. We shall not bind the pharaohs to us until we are fully certain that they are with us, we shall say. Oh, Yakima Nation. They have three divisions, which is nowhere near the amount of divisions that we have. However, they may be thick, beefy boys, and Christ can be okay with thick, beefy boys. And in the... Further west, there is the Troll War and the Warren Stirs. Oh my goodness. They're going intellectual. Holy cow. Ah, oh, I love the wastes. Lone trees, traditional weapons. You look the Great Mother Asp. That's a mother? That looks like a dude. The Apostles of Lone Tree, Jericho's Betrayal, Mormons All, Wasteland Militias, Old Country, Training of the Militia. Good. Good. Just make all oh, the four divisions. You know what? We can bait these guys in if needed. This Yakima Nation, they can be baited. They have river gods, war legend. It is not good. No, no, no. 
We can bait them to come into our lands and then encircle them and destroy them. That is our plan. Actually, how many places do we have here with them? Good, keep training. Lucifer's own. One, two, three, four, five. We can let them into all sorts of areas here and then encircle and destroy. That is the way of Christ, I believe. Um, two days, good. Can I do anything else with this? His Holiness Nelson. Interesting. Do that. Good. Good, good. The walls of New Canaan. Hmm. Interesting. How is our construction going? We are halfway done. We'll be done in July of 2276. Of course, we need more infantry equipment. We have plenty enough demo equipment. The cause was annexed, and we have enough support equipment at the moment. Oh, the metal men to the west. Godless creatures. They must be converted. It must, their sin must be purged from their bodies. Hmm. Come on, I mean the clergy. Uh, conversion mission, we shall wait. We must wait. Delta, 80s. Ah, motorized flight. Good. It's a little ahead of time. Ships sound interesting. Reinforce rate, and then... Hmm, bombers... Let's see. Let's see at the end. Rotary engine bomber versus a monoplane attacker. I want ground attack. Oh, this is much better. I suppose I shall go with a triplane attacker then. I love planes. Arming the clergy. Great. Next. Oh, mercy for the weekend. Yeah, we can do that. Crisis lessened. Mercy for the weekend. Crisis lessened. Oh, that does not sound good if we have a crisis. Engine innovation. Definitely need this, though. Embassy of Christ. Religious evolution. One of the following must be true. Well, let's do this one first, then. Mercy for the wicked. Those pagans who once butchered innocents fled from us for decades, fearing that what would happen when we caught them. Fearing the wrath of our God, yet when we found them? We offered mercy to all who take it, and the word of that mercy spread like wildfire throughout the lands. In the eye of all who look upon us, and we are remembered for this kindness, for kindness is what wins hearts and minds. Um, interesting picture there, you guys. The Hub, Vault City, New Vegas, New Canaan, established 2251, the Radiant Times. Uh, Royo, with the Chosen One? Exp oh, expansionist. I need to play as them. I'm going to play as them someday. I don't, I don't know when, but they look great. Buy an old country. Um, uh, yeah, keep doing conversion missions. Begin a scavenging program. That wouldn't be bad, but we don't really need it. We must save our political power for the future. Seed selection. I love selecting my seeds. Uh, get some more construction. It took us at least. A full year to, to get to maybe 66% to develop a civilian workshop. And a place down south, some would call Mexico, is on fire. A little bit. Just a t little bit. Small burnings in Me Mexico. Let's see. Kaisar. He's having a good old time with the hangdogs who he's slowly getting in there. Delta, the 80s are killing each other. Klamath is still alive for somehow, some way. And everything else. 34% world tension within the first year. Not bad. Oh. Did something happen? Not really sure. Oh, actually, you know what? Let us prepare. How many divisions are over here? Up to six. Interesting. You know what? Let's, let's do it like this first. Good. Good. Ragul's flock. Good. And Gabriel's sons shall do one by themselves. No, we can't actually get up there. Good. Good. For now, we shall be like that. I think it is now time to... I believe that you have had more than enough time to be cleansed. So, you shall not be Lucifer's Lucifer own. Lucifer's own. You are cleansed. Um, cleansed sinners. 
Good cleansed, good cleansed sinners. Now, let's go ahead and throw a little bit more kaboom on our boys. And perhaps one more of these boys as well. Now, we are really, really going to need a lot more infantry equipment and whatnot. Oh, good. How much longer? Quite a few days. Up to six divisions? That is okay. They're running out of manpower. And of course, then again, so am I. Conversion missions? Yes. Good, good, good. Mercy for the Wiccan. We get more population, less encryption, but more decryption. And we shall do victory to the clergy. The clergy quite nearly lost the hearts and minds of the people to the sheer charisma and audacity of the young prophet. Yet it can be said that the cooler heads inevitably triumphed. For even the prophet cannot debate a small army of wizened minds every Sunday. Inevitably, even he sees the wisdom of their words. And we get a ton more political power. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Failure will undo our conversion work in a number of states. Battle plans, great. Let's do field fortifications. Good. And you know what? I am sure many of our own soldiers need training. Let us get some more decryption and in time more encryption as well. Now these enemy divisions, how strong are they? Six to ten. Oh, they're fairly strong. There's quite a few infantry battalions on those fellas. If we could, we might be able to call them in one, two, three, five. Yes, we will need more divisions to do this. What a shame. 16 divisions, though, that's not bad. Even though they may begin to attack us, I might be able to bait them into attacking me first. We shall see what happens, most likely in the next video. But let us convert, continue converting. Old country. Good. So. Guys, I hope you enjoyed our first episode in Heaven's Gate, playing as the Children of the Gate. We are giving victory to the clergy, and we shall continue converting heathens and heretics around us. Anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a like. If you like the video, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below, and I will see you all tomorrow as we begin to prepare ourselves for the great struggle against heathens and heretics. Thanks for watching, and have a great, great day.